today. It just made me want to just hold on. You know, ladies, God is real, you know. And yes. Just Amen. simply, he's real. You right. know, and Minister mm. Monica Marshall, I just want you to maybe take some time and just, what's bubbling up inside of you? I know you have a heart for hurting women. Right, right. And mm, that's what God is giving me. Writing a book, and you're just doing conferences, and you're preaching all over the nation. Mm. You're just, I just know. But what God has for you, the people right now? Um, God has given me that we need to get past standing on a phone bill or a light because if you can't stand on those things, mm -hmm. the enemy just comes in and just tears your household up. Mm -hmm. And he is telling you to stand. Mm -hmm. He is telling you that when the devil comes in and touches your children, touches your family, you kick the door back in. Mm -hmm. You take 10 of his when he messes with one of yours. And God is telling me that we just falter all the mm -hmm. time, which, you know, a falter is like when a bird is in the air, when it begins to falter, okay. it just kind of loses its altitude because mm. it's fragile yes. and a lot of us baby Christians or mature Christians if you will they're fragile mm -hmm. and if you get them into a secret place most of them are crying mm -hmm. most of them are hurting mm -hmm. because when you're in a church environment you know my faith is real God is good yeah but when you get them in that secret place out. they're hurting oh, yeah. and they're holding on to guilt holding on mm -hmm. to shame from molestation they're holding on to abuse they're holding on to what somebody said to them right. mm -hmm. and parents um, God has given me a book about inside out mm. and we didn't get here by ourselves right. he said you are born into sin okay. mm. and our parents are accountable for how they raise us. They're Amen. accountable Amen. for the Amen. words that they put inside of Amen. us. They're accountable for the lifestyles that they hold and what they see us do. Yes. And if you're a mother who have many men coming in and out of your house that is not the father of your child, okay. you know, your children grow up as examples, this is okay. Yes. You know, yes. and here we need to stop the buck here. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you're cussing your children out, okay, you know, they grow up cussing their babies out, and it needs to stop. And yes. you're accountable for that. Right. And God is going to hold you dearly accountable for that. Because God didn't say if you hit this child or if you kill this child. He said if you offend. Mm -hmm. You know, offend comes in many forms. Mm -hmm. Offend comes um, if I say something to you and I cause mm -hmm. you to stumble from the heart or from the mind, and sure. I, I give your thoughts to think something negative towards someone mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. And um, as they grow up, they're harvesting all of this like a seed. Mm -hmm. And once this seed gives root, it begins to bear fruit. Oh, yeah. and now, is it going to bear violent fruit? Mm -hmm. Or is that low self-esteem going to have a depressed fruit? Mm -hmm. And God says that we should not panic. We should not panic to certain mm -hmm. things that happen in our lives. Mm -hmm. And I want to get people to understand, if we stay in His grace, right. You know, we can change these things. You know, we don't have to panic in death. We don't have to panic in violence. We don't have to panic when the devil tries to bring sickness on us or a doctor gives you a bad report. Mm -hmm. And I've just learned, I kick the door back in. Yes. You know, don't kick my door in. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm claiming stake. My God doesn't buckle. He said, I have power. I can do all things through Christ who mm -hmm. strengthens me. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm encouraging, you were talking about the prison ministry. Mm -hmm. And I encourage women, if you are a woman of God and you know the word, get ordained. Mm -hmm. Claim stake in that prison. Mm -hmm. You know, go in that prison wall and, and be a clergy in that prison and take your child back. And if anybody touch your child, claim that soul. Mm -hmm. You know, so I fight back. I, I don't yeah, I lay see you're down. a fighter. You know, <laughs> I, 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 don't I don't lay down. your testimony. Um, how the enemy tried to kill you so many times. Right, right. I mean, I've fallen um, three stories. I've been hit by a car twice. I've been in a violent, um, abusive relationship mm -hmm. where he choked me so bad that when I woke up, he was trying to bury me under the stairwell. Yes. Mm. Yeah. My God. Yeah. And you're still here, so you're here for a purpose. I'm here for a purpose. Amen. And that is Praise to God. help women. Yes. You are not to be beat on. You know, um, I'm not saying that you should leave your husband. You wait on God. You wait on God to give you instruction, but he makes a door for everything. Mm -hmm. He makes an opportunity so if somebody for everything. Is right, when you said not to leave your husband, if this person is being beat up right now, mm -hmm. you tell him to stay there? No, I tell them to go to God. Okay. Okay, I tell them to go to God. Mm -hmm. And what suppose if they don't know how to go to God. If they don't know how to God, run for your life. <laughs> <laughs> run, 
run for your life. That's what I'm talking about. Right. You, you know, know. I mean, if somebody's abusing you, you need to get out of there. Well, you, you have to realize yes, there's amen. different t forms of abuse. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's, um, you can be married. I'm, I'm thinking of physical. Physical abuse. Yeah. Run for your run life. Run for your life. Because yeah. Mental. I'm, and, he you know, there's a lot going on. Um, beat mm -hmm. me so bad where he distorted one side of my face mm -hmm. and he cut off one of my fingers. Mm -hmm. And, um. I ran for my life, yeah. but what happened was I tried to commit suicide. Yeah. Mm. And I guess God found favor on me because I was holding Thank my you, son Jesus. and I wouldn't hurt my child. Because yeah. I knew, you know, babies are a gift of God. Yeah. But so many people get so depressed, they figure, well, I'll kill me and I'll kill my children. Yes. But I didn't make that choice. Yeah. I made the choice I didn't want to weather the storm yeah. anymore. Mm. So I took an overdose of pills, but mm. I said, let's lay down. Mommy's tired. Yeah. And I remember holding him because uh -huh. I wanted to hold him yeah. to the last. Yeah. Yeah. And um, God woke me up and he said, who will get this child? Mm. And I, I was kind of like going and I couldn't wake up. And mm -hmm. he said, I gave you that child. Right. And somebody knocked on the door and came in because mm. They knew they just felt something was wrong. Yeah. Why God put that on their heart, mm -hmm. and God brought me through that. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, I told him, "Beat me today, because this is the last time you put your hands on me." Wow. Mm -hmm. wow! You know, there's somebody out there that can relate to that. What would you say to them? Maybe you want to pray for them, or just talk to the person in that camera right now. I want to say to you today that God loves you. Yes. He loves you right now, not yes, tomorrow. Jesus. He said, I knew you in your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. And no one has a right to hurt you but God. Mm -hmm. No one has a heaven nor hell to put you in but God. Yes. And if you're hurting, seek God because mm -hmm. he has an opportunity, a doorway for you that will be a safe way out because after he beat me, he was so hurt by how he had deformed my face. Mm. God had softened his heart mm. and let him pack me up and take me to someone else. Mm. And God will make a way out of no way. Yes. God is a way out oh, of no yes, way. Yes, God is a helper mm. yes. when a time yes. of need. Yes. And he's yes. a stronghold yes. in your time of weakness. Yes. And if you're feeble, he said, I give mm. you a right mind. Yes. And I'm saying right now, Father, we're just going to join hands yes. in Thank agreement you, with you Thank right you, now, Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name. And we're asking you, that you just help Jesus these women name. right now, Father. Yes. I ask that you wipe yes. their yes. tears yes. away, Father. I ask that you open up a door, Father, and teach them to praise right now. Praise your holy name, Father, because Silas and Paul were in jail, and you just shook the jail and opened up every door in the jailhouse. And I know that you are a God of God, and a God of real, a God of faith. There is no fakeness in you, or no pretense in you, God. You said my word will not go out void and come back to me void. You are real. And I ask that you open the doors, Father. Open the doors, Father. Set them free. Set them children free, Father, and heal for your glory. Heal them, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus name. Amen. In the so mighty name of Jesus. With us. Our number should be on the screen at this time. Call us. Call the prayer line. Minister Monica you, Marshall Jesus. will be there to answer your call. And if you're calling us, we'll get the call and we'll get back with you as soon as we possibly can if it's busy. Amen. But Thank leave you, your Jesus. name and your number. Amen. But I'm excited about it. If you're out there and you don't know Jesus mm. Christ as your personal That's Lord right. and Savior, Today is the day today. of salvation. Thanks. What you need to do is just ask Christ sure. to come Thank into you, my Jesus. life, to wash me mm -hmm. with your blood. Mm -hmm. I believe you, God, raised Jesus, Jesus from the me. dead just yes, for me. Please. Save my soul mm -hmm. and fill me up with the Holy Spirit. And if you Thank pray you, that prayer with us, you are saved. Amen. In Jesus' Thank name. You, Jesus. And we're just believing right now that you're going to be led to the right Mm -hmm. service, the right mm -hmm. church, the right pastor in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Minister uh, Loretta, uh, I know you were in prison, yes. right? Yes. And in prison, the Lord heard your cry. Tell a little bit about that testimony, maybe a minute or two.